Hi there, welcome back to Camera Than Coffee where I make sure that my fellow creators do not miss any new updates about cameras. And today I'm here to quickly share with you new updates about the Beast Canon R5. By the way, do consider subscribing if you find this video helpful. It helps me when you do that. Cool, let's jump in right away. Starting with the biggest one, the Canon R5 gets auto power of temperature setting in case of movie recording. In simple words, this feature will give you two options. You can set it on standard or you can set it on high. When you will select the high option, the camera will not automatically turn off when the temperature of the camera body and card becomes high, which will allow for longer movie recording than before. Canon hasn't really specified the increased movie recording limit. However, it will surely be more than the standard 30 minutes recording time as before. However, Canon has pointed out that the temperature of the bottom surface of the camera may increase at this time, so you need to be careful. The new firmware also adds the ability to convert multiple HEIF images into multiple JPEG images. Now, even though HEIF format is similar in quality to a JPEG and takes up less space than the JPEG, being specific roughly half the space of a JPEG, but still, there are a number of apps or devices that doesn't support HEIF, whereas JPEG is still the most universal file format. So yeah, converting multiple HEIF files to JPEG will be really helpful. The third point in the firmware will enhance the performance of movie digital image stabilization. It stabilizes the images when taking selfies or walking shots using a wide-angle lens. And yeah, the firmware is now available free of charge on the official website of Canon. This is it guys, if there is anything new about Canon R5, I'll inform you right away. Thank you so much for stopping by, see you in the next video.